Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, April 8th, and it is time for our daily devotion. Uh, and it's Thankful Thursday, so a day off from Jonah. Uh, we'll finish up Jonah next week. But today is about thanking God for all that God has done for us. And I am going to read Psalm 134. Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who is the maker of heaven and earth. I have a lot to be thankful for this week. Uh, I We got to experience uh, Holy Week uh, since the last time we had a thankful Thursday. And... Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday are three of my four favorite services all year. Uh, I am always exhausted by the time Easter Sunday service is over, but it's that good exhaustion. It's that exhaustion where you know you have done, where you have enjoyed, where you have felt joy, where it has been... I don't, I, how do you explain it? It's like it's like that uh, that exhaustion you have after a great vacation. You know, didn't get any rest, but you look back on it, and the whole thing was amazing. And so there's no regrets that you're just bone tired in a good way. So I'm, I was thankful. I love Holy Week, and so I'm so thankful for that. And on after service on Sunday, uh, we met my parents and my sister and her family, and my cousin and his family, and my aunt at a park in Orlando. It's kind of our midway point. And we got to spend Easter together. And it's honestly one of the things, I, one of the reasons I moved to Florida. I looked, and, and we haven't gotten to do much of it because of COVID. Um, and I was so thankful we got to all be together. Everybody but my nephew, Jake, and unfortunately, my cousin's wife and one of his uh, sons wasn't feeling great. Um, so we had almost the whole family. But it was, that was, even even that was, uh, it was just outstanding. And then Tuesday night, I spent the whole evening with my, my family, and that made me happy too. And then today, I'm in the process of doing two things that I love at the same time, I love being a minister. Uh, I wouldn't say every day. There are some days that it's you kind of like, why did I do this? But I think every every uh, uh, every calling is that way. But I love being a minister. But I also love to cook, and so I am loving today that I am uh, still. Uh, the reason why I'm here at the house and not at the office is because. Uh, I'm still waiting on the last of the pork barbecue to be ready for the lunch that I'm making for our older adults today. Uh, and it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's almost ready. But I'm so thankful that two of my loves get to combine. That is always a special, special thing. So I have a lot to be thankful for this week. I hope you all do too. I hope, I, I really hope and I pray that when I do my my uh, thankful Thursdays that you all start thinking about what you're thankful for. If you want to share it, I'd love to hear it. If you don't, just just think about those out, the, the things that God's done for you this week and uh, say a little prayer uh, of thanksgiving to our Lord. Well, let's pray. Holy Lord, I thank you for this morning and I thank you for an opportunity to thank you for all that you've done. For family, for friends, for church, for everything. Help us to live our lives in gratitude, and especially just take time from our weeks just to say thank you. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen.